Good evening. Hello. It's Wednesday Wisdoms. It is. And we're not sure if we'll have... The wise guy. True. Yeah. We're not sure if we're going to have any views tonight, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, just course. because there's a, you know, the vice presidential debate is, um, I don't know if it's on or it's going to I be... I think it's on. Is it on, actually on? I don't know. Um, oh, Valerie. Hey. Hi. We got one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll just wait a minute, and so yeah. Talked to Scott earlier. Um, he's down in Florida, so his beloved passed away in the middle of the night. Yeah. So yeah. sending him love and prayers. So if you remember Scott, if you know Scott, he was used to he used to be with us for quite some time. Quite some time. So send did, him. Love did a lot and of plumbing around the place. Was it plumbing? Yeah. No, we vacuumed. Well, we did plumbing too. Did you do plumbing too? Yeah. He just did all, all kinds of stuff. He was just really helpful. He was so kind to help us out. Enjoyed enjoyed doing that. Uh -huh. Like to help. Cool. All right. Well, we got one. So, hi, Valerie. Um, you know, and I mean, there's other people that don't sign in that are possibly watching, too. We never know. I've got, we got we no know. way to know that. So, anyway. Anyway, hey, we'll move on from there. Move Actually, on. let's do my stupid jokes first. Oh, must we? Well, yeah, that way we get them out of the way. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, That's a good yeah. idea. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> why did the baker stop making donuts? He was tired of the whole business. Uh, did you hear about the guy who drank food coloring? I read about it. He died a little inside. Oh. Yeah. Enough. Um, you know, I, I've read, Grown. I read a lot of stuff and, uh, you know, I can elaborate and, um, talk about things frequently, but the way they worded all this, I'm just going to read part of it because they, they just do, people, authors frequently do a commendable job. And this is from where? This is from, um, uh, UCLA Health. Um, it's one of their publications. So I get all kinds of stuff in the mail. So, but this one's talking about relieving stress through breathing. Well, that's nothing new, um, but the way they did it and the way they talked about it um, was actually kind of nice. So, and I'm just gonna paraphrase, I'm not even gonna talk about a lot of it, but one thing they did talk about is the stop practice. Stop? Stop. So, in other words, like after you've had a, you know, a bad <laughs> phone call or just kind of a bad experience and you're just all blah, 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 and before you try to talk to anybody else, stop. stop. So, and that um, S is for stop or slow what you're doing. Take a th T is that take a th few deep, slow breaths. Mm -hmm. And it actually talks about breathing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Observe how you are feeling in your body as you are taking slower breaths. Notice the thoughts and emotions. Invite calm. P, proceed with what you are doing. According to the author, visualizing the breath as nourishing can help create a more peaceful, physical, and mental state. As you inhale, imagine giving yourself something positive. Think of calm and ease. Uh, when you exhale, think of releasing or letting go of stress. Again, so, nothing new. But... Yes, but we're going to use our breath in this cloak of valor activation process tonight. So. Mm -hmm. It was good timing that this came in the mail today. Yeah, and one other thing they talked about was the vagus nerve. That's um, kind of like the main That's huge... the, the irritation you get when you go to Las Vegas? Uh, could be, could be. But it's the longest nerve uh, from the brain that actually goes down to a good many of our organs. So I'm just going to read you this too because, Please. again, they do just a great job. Uh, deep breathing stimulates the vagus nerve. <laughs> The longest cranial nerve. This nerve extends from the brain and branches into the and influences numerous vital organs. When sim stimulated through techniques like deep breathing, the vagus nerve triggers the release of various chemicals that can induce calm throughout the body. Researchers have been studying how electronically stimulating this nerve might treat a variety of conditions, including epilepsy, depression, asthma, stroke, migraines, and inflammatory diseases. Hmm. Again, you know. nothing new or anything, but it's just nice to actually kind of read specifics. So, there you go. There you go. Good stuff. Hi, Terry McCants. Hello. How are you doing? So, okay, so you're on. I'm on, and I'm looking forward to this because I want to share with you <clears throat> this uh, 
uh, process. Dog's looking forward to it too. Yeah, she's sleepy. Yeah, no, Can you see a nose there? Nose. No, the chair's in the way. Nose. Okay. Chair's in the way. <laughs> the dog is keeping us company. Yes. Oh. Little Miss Lila, are you okay there, Phil? <laughs> Just lost her balance? Don't make me worry about you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, at the end of last Sunday service, um, I remember to share with you briefly about the infinity symbol that you can do with your fingers. So let me backtrack and repeat a little bit of what we were talking about. <clears throat> so weeks ago, I talked to you about utilizing the infinity symbol when we sweep our hands through the air, that we can clear the energy in the room in our space, and we can also um, activate or bring positive energy in. And when I was pondering this cloak of valor that is coming from divine source for us, that we can just ask for it to be given to us, and it's given, um, and we can feel that energy wrap around us and protect us and, and, and bring us strength and calm. And then this little process is here, how to activate it at any moment. So we can have this, but then we get distracted with life, get distracted with um, things that are going on and we can tend to forget and get caught up in all the drama and trauma and all that sort of thing. So <clears throat> this cloak of valor, let me back up and chat with you just a moment about that and then we'll activate it again. This cloak of valor, the difference between courage and valor, uh, the definition of courage is the ability to do something that frightens one. So we all have courage because we're doing what we need to do and there's fearful circumstances around. Now valor, on the other hand, is great courage in the face of danger. That we're doing. Don't we need valor right now? Because we're facing a lot of dangerous circumstances in our world. <clears throat> and it's imperative for us to have this cloak of valor is imperative for us to access valor because being fearful locks us down and keeps us disconnected from spirit because spirit is all about love and light and courage and joy and compassion and all those positive things and when we're locked down in fear we lock ourselves out of that so being able to access this valor will give us the power to be able to move through our world and not let the circumstances or distractions lock us down and keep us uh, isolated in our own world of fear. Now, that, that doesn't mean that we can't be fearful because sometimes we need fear <clears throat> because that keeps us alive. It is a survival mechanism. So we don't want to just go, la, 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 everything's just fine, la, 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 everything. No. no, but we want to have this valor, which is this courage, this great courage in the face of danger. So we want valor, we don't want shut down, right? So this is all about staying alert, staying alive, staying awake spiritually uh, in, in the face of difficulties that we're experiencing, okay? So <clears throat> this cloak of valor, first of all, you ask for it, like we did on Sunday, if you have not yet done that. It's just simply, I hereby request a cloak of valor. And it's gifted to you. And it's gifted to you from the ethereal realms. It's just this divine gift that you are allowed to have if you request it. So how beautiful is that? Now, if we have the cloak on, now we want to activate it. It's automatically on, but if we're distracted or scattered or whatever, uh, then we may tend to not utilize it as, as best we can. So let's utilize it the best we can. And we do that by accessing this infinity symbol. So as I was pondering all of these things, this infinity symbol with our hands was revealed to me. So if you have arthritis, you can just do whatever modifications you need to do so it doesn't hurt. Index finger to thumb, index finger to thumb, and see how that creates an infinity symbol? See that? Easy peasy. Now, this is where we're gonna activate that energy. So this infinity symbol 
is the symbolic energy of the energy that exists in the ethereal realms that is without end. We have access to that and it's, it's infinite. And we have access to that. We have the right to that. So to activate this cloak and to tap into that infinite source of energy that grants us valor, great courage in the face of challenges, to activate it, now take your middle fingers and touch them together, if you can. And I'd like you to notice something that you have gratitude for. Oh, Scott. Just notice something you have gratitude for. Just breathe gratitude. So for me, I could be grateful for my home. I could be grateful for my health. I can be grateful for Phil. I can be grateful for a lot of things. But just choose one. I'm going to, at this moment in time, be grateful for my flowers outside because they bring me great joy. So I'm just going to be grateful for that. And I'm going to take three breaths. Now, ring fingers are going to touch. And I'm going to consider something that I can be appreciative of. And gratitude and appreciation are kind of alike, but they're kind of a little different. So I can be grateful for the flowers that are blooming because they delight my soul. I can be appreciative of Phil for all the things, that, the kind things he does for me. I can be appreciative of um, doctors because of their knowledge. I can be appreciative of my neighbors because they kind of watch out for us in, in our little neighborhood here. So find something or someone you can appreciate and just hold them in your awareness. And we're going to take three breaths. Me, I think I'm going to appreciate Phil for a little bit. You don't mind if I do? Doesn't that feel wonderful? Can you feel yourself feeling even more centered and more balanced now? Now little fingers come together. This is the challenging one. This one asks you to appreciate yourself. And that's acknowledgement. Acknowledging yourself. Hmm, I got up today and I got dressed. I got up today and I faced the challenge of cleaning the kitchen. I, I um, Pull some weeds today. Whatever you did, you did stuff today. And maybe it seems like nothing, but at the same time, it's something. And you, maybe you were kind to someone. Acknowledge that for yourself. Maybe you were um, joyful in your day, daily activities. Acknowledge that. Maybe you did something creative. Acknowledge that for yourself. So we have gratitude, we have appreciation, and we have acknowledgement. So acknowledge something about yourself for today. What shall I acknowledge for myself? I think I'll acknowledge the fact that I got up and got myself together today. How does that sound to you? You can pick whatever you'd like. And let's take three breaths on that. Shall we? Deep breaths in. And exhale. Acknowledging that I got up today. Acknowledging that I suited up, showed up. And exhale. And now you can just release that and your cloak of valor has been activated. And this gives you great courage through the next thing that it is in your life for you to do. And as I often encourage people to do, do the hardest thing first. If we do, we think sometimes we'll all whittle away at the little things, but what happens is the big thing takes our energy, takes our intent, takes our awareness, a kind of fret about the big thing. Just do it first. And when we get that big thing out of the way, then there's tons of energy left. 
and we can utilize that energy for whatever we choose to do next. So doing the next right thing, whatever that looks like for you. Sometimes that next right thing is just walking the path, stay in the course, stay in positive no matter what, making that choice to do that and doing whatever it takes to keep us in that state of, bi state of mind or state of being. So I'm hoping that um, we didn't use a whole lot of time with us. Um, so this will be a brief, uh, brief session tonight, unless you have questions. If you have any questions, text them in. Phil's going to, uh, has the intercom. He can contact me and I'll go over some things with you. Let me just repeat the process for you really quickly. Ask for that cloak of valor. I hereby request a cloak of valor. And you're gifted with this cloak. If you want more information about the cloak, you might want to listen to last Sunday's message. So request your cloak, finger to thumb, finger to thumb, creating that infinity symbol. And this allows us the opportunity to tap into that uh, unlimited energetic source. Then we find something to be grateful for, someone to appreciate, and we acknowledge our own journey, our own path, our own steps. And as we do that, we take breaths that allow us to bring this healing energy, like Phil said, through that vagus nerve, it helps the body, restores the body, and again, activates that sense of courage, that sense of valor in, this, in the circumstances that we're in. So if you have any questions, let Phil know. If not, um, Mr. Phil, you wanna join me back here and we'll do um, an energy circle and we'll close up. Cool process. You're welcome, Beth. Phil can't find our video here, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll just call it an evening. I hope you enjoyed that process, and I hope you can utilize that. This is a part of the, the appreciation, the gratitude appreciation acknowledgement was something that we did in the Ancient Ones study group. And it says people there, so There's people somebody's there, getting so. it. I don't know. Anyway. Well, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm glad you like this, Terry. Anyway, share this if you have a chance, because this is a process that we all could use right now. Could we not? Mm -hmm. So share the heck out of it if you can. So let's do an energy circle to close up for the evening. We wish you a very, very good journey uh, the rest of your evening, and may you be blessed. So rub your hands together really, really fast. And hold them slightly apart. And we're going to uh, create and connect an energetic circuit between us and Divine Source. So as you're aware of that connection with Divine Source, it's always open. But as you become aware of that, the connection expands and strengthens and deepens. And as that does, it'll flow down and touch into your heart space. From your heart space, take your awareness from your heart space to your left palm. There's an energy portal there. And as you bring the energy here, then notice the right palm, the energy portal there, and the energy will jump from one to the other. And then it, <laughs> it does. And then it'll flow up your right arm and back into your heart space, and that connects that energetic circuit. And you can do healings on yourself using this circuit. Use healings on somebody else in this circuit. Um, I think for this evening, I want to put Scott Green in the energy circuit here because I know he's really struggling. It's, it's hard to, to lose a beloved. So just holding uh, that other person, whoever you might consider in your heart space, maybe there's someone in your circle of influence that could use comfort or encouragement or healing or, or grounding or valor. Just hold them in your awareness and allow them to receive this energy. You'll feel the energy move back and forth from one hand to the next and then around in a circle, completing that circuit. <sighs> now we're just going to release them, bringing fresh energy in from that higher source. Heart space, left hand, right hand, back to the heart space, letting that energy build. And as that energy builds, now you'll have this sense of it, maybe a sphere of light in your hands. You can feel that getting bigger and brighter. Now bring that into your heart space that completes the circuit 
amplifies the circuit and locks that energy in. And may your life be a prayer. God bless you, and we will see you Sunday. Take care. Toodles.